As a result, it seems like Apple is prepared to make a big splash by perhaps introducing LTPO LED screens on all of its products in the next year. As you recall, Apple originally dabbled with LTPO display technology with the iPhone 13 Pro. There are now rumors that the iPhone 17 series will use this revolutionary technology. Here's where things start to get interesting for Samsung. The Galaxy S24 flagships already feature LTPO screens, while the iPhone 16 models only have this technology on the Pro models, which is set to alter significantly in a short amount of time. Samsung's mobile sector may face significant pressure if Apple forces LTPO on all iPhone 17 models. As Bo will be waiting on the sidelines next year owing to its lack of LTPO capabilities, its display subsidiary may see an increase in orders. This suggests that Samsung and LG may be receiving more orders for OLEDs. Apple's hardware advancements tend to interfere with Samsung's ambitions. Apple has a habit of outperforming Samsung at pivotal times, despite Samsung's outstanding history of being an early user of innovative technologies. For example, Samsung's cutting-edge M14 OLED is included in the iPhone 16, but the future Galaxy S25 Ultra is unlikely to have that revolutionary technology very soon. Thus, Apple's choice to use LTPO is expected to help Samsung's display business, but it may hurt the company's mobile segment. Furthermore, there has been some talk regarding Apple moving part of the development of the iPhone 17 to India for the first time. Yes, you read correctly. Apple has always created its gadgets in California, but they are now experimenting by shifting part of the iPhone 17's testing and development to India. This action is part of Apple's plan to lessen its significant reliance on China and diversify its production. The iPhone 17 prototype design is reportedly being transformed into a mass-producible product by Apple using a manufacturing in Bangalore, especially a Foxconn facility. The basic model code, V57, is the subject of this early production testing. This is very important since it is the first time Apple has outsourced a sizable part of the iPhone production process outside of China, even if the professional models are still receiving the standard treatment there. Even more interesting is the fact that this testing stage is anticipated to include material and manufacturing process experiments, and it seems that things may be proceeding more quickly than typical. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.